Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss about accounting for inventory. So, this topic we will discuss about definition of inventory, types of inventory, and methods of inventory costing. Key, the definition of inventory. A current asset whose ending balance should report the cost of merchandise, merchandise's products awaiting to be sold. The inventory of a manufacturer should report the cost of its raw materials, work in process, and finished goods. There are three types of inventory. Number one, raw materials. Two, work in process, three, finish goods. Although the inventory for raw materials and work in process may not yet be ready for sale, they are used to produce products for resale purpose. Therefore, they are classified as an inventory in manufacturing enterprise. Now we look at raw materials. What is meant by raw materials? Raw material is a type of inventory which acts as the basic component part of a product. For example, cotton is raw material for cloth production and plastic is raw material for production of toys. Raw material is usually held by manufacturing companies because they have to manufacture goods from raw materials. Now, work in process. Work in process is a type of inventory that is in the process of production. This means that work in process inventory is in the middle of production stage but is not yet complete. And work in process account is used by manufacturing companies finished good what is mean by finished good finished goods is a type of inventory which comes into existence after the production process incomplete or in other words finished goods is manufactured items that are complete and ready for sale now we look at inventory costing method. There are three inventory costing method. Number one, first in, first out method, or known as FIFO. Second one, last in, first out method, or known as LIFO. And the third one, weighted average cost method. Now we look at the first one, FIFO method or first in, first out method. It means that the earliest goods purchased are the first to be sold. So the earliest or the oldest, the oldest item in assumed to be sold or out first and the ending inventory will consist of the most recent item purchased. Or in other words, the ending inventory will consist of the most latest item purchased. The cost of the newest inventory item remain in the ending inventory. And the cost of the oldest inventory item are charged to cost of goods sold when goods are sold. The second method, last in, first out method or known as LIFO method. The newest item are in are assumed to be sold or out first. The latest goods purchased or in other words the latest Good purchase are the first 
to be sold. So the cost of the newest inventory item are charged to cost of goods sold when goods are sold. And it means that ending inventory consists of the oldest item in inventory and the cost of the oldest inventory item remain in an inventory ending inventory so you must know the newest must be sold first and the remain, remaining will consist of the oldest inventory now the third method weighted average cost method this method assumes that the goods available for sale have the same or average cost per unit. Generally, they are homogeneous. Cost of inventory per unit is computed by dividing the total cost of goods available for sale by the total units available for sale. And you get the cost of ending inventory equals to ending inventory unit times weighted average cost per unit. So the conclusion that weighted average cost per unit use weighted average cost per unit. Oh, don't forget to watch my next video. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. That's all.